so what's up guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is jb23 vlog so this is the continuation of our exhaust valve overhauling video guys so in this video guys i would like to show to you how to assemble or how to overhaul the exhaust valve as you can see guys now we are preparing the exhaust valve seat to mount or to mount the exhaust valve seat to the to the body or the casing of the exhaust valve assembly guys so there's no markings on this and just to be sure that everything is clean and that the assembly exhaust valve should sit properly with the exhaust valve seat and there is a channel on the seat guys that you have to insert the lock bolt the lock bolt is allen allen head screw so just tight it very well so that it will not move otherwise it will give a misalignment if you are not tightening it well so we finish tight tightening it guys now we will put the oil cylinder guys temporarily so that we can put i mean the that is the air cylinder we will put the air cylinder temporarily and so that we can also temporarily put the oil cylinder guys just to pick up the whole exhaust valve assembly so that we can put it to the dismantling stand or dismantling tool this one which i am holding yeah this one guys that's the dismant dismantling stand just tight the four nuts so that we can mount the exhaust valve assembly into the stand just slowly guys and just to be sure that it is tight once it is lifted by chain block and just be careful guys when you are handling with these heavy objects just to always focus and keep it in mind that this is very heavy and just to be safe always and just to be in the safe side always guys so just slowly align the exhaust valve guys assembly to the dismantling stand so that we can mount properly the exhaust valve spindle guys so, so that's just slowly place it on the dismantling stand and as you can see guys we dismantle the oil cylinder now we have to dismantle the oil cylinder guys so that we can put the spindle and the piston of the the piston of the spindle guys so just tight firmly the four nuts of the locking the or the locking device of this dismantling stand the special tool guys so this tool is just fabricated guys and we have no tools for this for this uh overhauling stand of exhaust valve so just this is just a fabricated guys so that you can turn upside down the exhaust valve assembly as you can see guys the now we pick up the oil cylinder so that we we can install the exhaust valve spindle and the the piston of the oil cylinder case right now we are preparing the exhaust valve spindle guys to pick up so that we can insert or we can mount it to the exhaust valve assembly so as you can see guys now we are ready to turn it upside down so we can reverse position guys so so that we can mount the 
exhaust valve from the other side just to have just be slowly guys and be careful wind turning ups and down of this exhaust valve assembly guys because it is quite heavy and just to avoid any crashing or just do it slowly guys and do not be in hurry and just stay focused on this heavy object guys as you can see guys don't forget to put immediately the lock bolt on that as you can see guys the this exhaust valve is as you can see the seat and the spindles are new so there's no need to grind or grind the seats guys because these are new once it is used and the dimensions is not good or the faces is not good then they we will grind the exhaust valve seat and spindle guys right now we are slowly picking up the spindle guys with the up, upside down position and that's just don't forget to lubricate the valve steam and as you can see guys I'm lubricating now the valve steam so that it can go smoothly all the way down guys like that with the lifter inside attach being attached in the uh, exhaust ball spindle guys then just be careful not to touch the lifter into the exhaust valve seat so in this case guys you have to put some wood to catch the the other side of the spindle guys the top side of the spindle all the way all the way down as you can see guys we put some wood just to catch the the other side or the top side of the spindle guys once you have a wood to catch that uh, spindle then you can slowly remove the lifter the special tools case so up to yes up to that and slowly detach the special tool or the lifter of the uh, valve spindle case as you can see now i'm uh, detaching the lifter guys from the exhaust valve spindle then you have to be sure guys that this is already catched by wood then just remove the wood guys then after removing the wood the seat and the spindle should be face to face with each other and after that put the lock the lock of the spindle guys so that we can mount the piston the piston part of the air cylinder just put the lock case and again we have to turn it upside upside guys and again you have to be careful when turning it because this is heavy and this is the benefits of having the dismantling stand guys you can rotate it you can turn it upside down easily so some other guys they will provide the dismantling stand of exhaust valve but in our case we don't have that uh, dismantling stand so this is just a fabricated case once it is already turned to the upright position then don't forget to engage the lock guys for safety just engage the lock properly not to move the exhaust valve assembly so after this guys we will install the special tool of the piston piston 
inserting special tool guys so that's the tool for inserting the piston as always guys when dealing with this uh, overhauling of exhaust valve guys we have to lubricate it I'm using the lubricating oil guys just put some lubricating oil so in the air cylinder guys there is there we have to put some oil guys in the air cylinder side so now I am preparing the piston guys to insert it so just put some M10 uh, bolt just to hold the piston guys so once it is inserted and uh, don't forget to put some lubricating oil on the o-ring side and the the ceiling ring uh, this teflon ceiling ring guys just put some oil around it and so that it will slide smoothly in the inserting inserting tool of this piston and just use some soft material guys some anodes or the brass just push it slowly all the way down to the air cylinder as you can see guys I'm putting some lubricating oil to make it smooth smoothly all the way down and just push by uh, zinc anodes it will be easy guys if you release some air from that air cylinder or you can detach it completely so as you can see guys I'm slowly hammering the piston all the way down so once you hammer guys you should see some progress that it is moving otherwise if it is not moving guys that means the alignment is not good then you have to realign that so in this case guys this is moving and moving going down so as you can see guys now the piston is in the bottom part of the air cylinder case then once it is properly seated or it is mounted uh, at the bottom part then we can detach now the inserting tool so that we can install the locking locking device or the lock pin of the exhaust valve just clean some oil just clean the surface with a piece of rugs guys and this is now the lock the lock of the exhaust valve so just bring up the piston guys so it will be engage to the lock once it is engaged the insert the locking plate and the put the locking bolt guys just like that slowly and it must be seated accordingly and it is engaging with each other guys so this is the lock when you have the four bolt locks and there is a locking plate also guys locking plate of the four bolts so just to clean and properly insert it now the locking plate is in in place guys and just install the lock bolts that there are four pieces lock bolts with the locking plate guys so just insert it and tighten it properly in accordance with the instruction torque so just make it in place and properly make the locking plate in place guys just like that it should be in the locking position so that it will not make any loose 
business once it is in operation guys so this is for safety as you can see guys this is already finished tightening and no it is luck like that and the lock plate guys must be tight and it is firmly seated guys right now I am inserting the hood or the oil cylinder hood guys the top part of the exhaust valve just be sure that oh, there is an o-ring and it is clean properly and with that just insert it so slowly put the hood down and once it is the down position guys then install the lock nut the lock nut of the of this exhaust valve guys has is 110 with the tightening so just follow the instruction manual every time guys as for always we have to read the instruction book before carrying out in ever hauling and like that guys just be sure that it is tightened in accordance in accordance with the tightening torque and after that guys now i am removing the locking plate of the exhaust valve spindle from the bottom side so that we can operate the spindle or we can test it guys up and down opening and closing of the valve so how to do it guys just to supply air and release the air from the from the air cylinder side guys so like that as you can see guys this is the this is where you can put the air and where you can release the air as you can see if i release the air the spindle will open and if i put the air or supply the air the spindle is going up or it is in close position as you can see guys that's the movement of the of our exhaust valve so the exhaust valve guys should keep at least 15 minutes at close position guys if it is not then there's some problem with the assembling guys or the with the piston sealing so it should pass the minimum of 15 minutes so as you can see guys this is the the clearance of the valve seat and the spindle it is one millimeter and the dip is 15 millimeter this is the dip of penetration where there is a clearance of the exhaust valve spindle against with the exhaust valve seat so it's already 15 past 15 minutes and the valve is in closed position so until here guys i hope you learned something about this video guys if you are interested about the marine engineering video guys please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe this jb23 vlogs stay safe everyone thank you for watching bye bye